Hello, my name is Gregor Jemek. I'm professor of dermatology at the University of Copenhagen. Hello, my name is Linnea Zuleichis. I'm a medical doctor here at Sedan University Hospital in Denmark. First author on the manuscript. And we have been given four questions to answer in this short video uh, interview. And the first question is, um, what made you try this uh, drug f for this patient for this particular condition? Good question. This condition, hydronidin superativa or HS, is in the condition a skin disease which causes great impairment of life quality, great impairment of mobility, great pain, great distress to patients, and they have a great unmet need for treatment. Even with the best evidence treatment levels we have currently, there is about a 40% of patients who have an unmet need for treatment. So they needed to try something else and something new. And recently, IL-17 was identified as a possible pathogenic factor to HS, which meant that it was obvious to treat HS with an IL-17 inhibitor such as sicokinumab. So how did we go about doing it? Yeah, well, since it was the very first time that we ever tried this drug and um, there was no previous examples in the literature, we tried first the, the standard treatment that we use also for, for example, the psoriasis, which is 300 milligrams uh, subcutaneously weekly for the first week and then uh, in every four week thereafter. And how did it go? Um, it went well, um, especially if you look at uh, the patient report outcomes. We did both physician and patient report outcomes before and after 12 weeks in treatment. And um, our patient um, improved quite significantly in all the patient reported outcome measures. Um, but in the physician reported outcome measures, we did not re this was not really reproduced uh, as we would expect. But we think that this might be because um, some the existing problems that we, we know that we have with the um, physician reported scores, especially in, in this more advanced uh, disease where the lesions become confident, etc. Ah, so it's the, it's, you can say it's the reason that we have the historic collaboration between EDM Cochrane and our department here at Roskilde to improve the outcome measures for hydronitis superativa. Yes, that is true. Um, and the last question is, um, why is this study relevant to dermatologists and other patients with severe hydronitis superativa? I think it's self-evident that it's obvious for, that, it's, uh, that it's necessary for these patients and colleagues because there's still the unmet need for treatment for this group of patients. So although treatment has been improved tremendously by the addition of adalimumab to the armamentarium of possible treatments, there's still, needs, there's still scope for improvement. And this is one small step towards such improvement that we hope will be followed by many more in the future.